Hello there, I'm Storm Downing, and today we're going to be doing the Vintage Ninja Turtles Neil Nose Review. Alright, here we go. Uh, so this is the Vintage Ninja Turtles, uh, 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 needle nose, uh, and uh, he is about uh, actually nine inches tall and uh, twelve inches long. And uh, I have some size comparisons here for you. So I have a uh, prowl. As you can see he goes up to like uh, goes up to like the shoulder height there, which is uh, pretty cool. And then uh, we've got Ahsoka, who really is. Pretty short compared to him. And it's a short Star Wars figure, but still really short. Only going up to like, oh, partially up his uh, leg. Then we have a uh, Frogman here, and he's like, uh, again, just about to the height of his uh, joint. We have a uh, Baron von Zemo, who's like. A little bit taller, but still quite a bit shorter because uh, this vehicle is actually quite big. And then uh, we have uh, Herc Armstrong from the Earth Corps, and he is actually almost as tall as it, uh, but it's still a little bit taller than him. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, this vehicle is actually, I'm not sure if you could call it a vehicle per se. It's it's an interesting because it's like it's a vehicle, but it's also a mutant, so it's like a person. So I'm just gonna probably call it a vehicle. Uh, I'm sorry if that annoys some people. Um, so here we go. Let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, the top here, and it's got a little seat here where you can put a Ninja Turtle in. I've actually found that the uh, only Ninja Turtle that really fits in there is a uh, Michelangelo. Because uh, Leonardo uh, and uh, all the other turtles, their arms rotate right here like that, where Mikey's rotates uh, horizontally instead of ver vertically, as you can see here. And uh, it is actually the only turtle I believe that is uh, able to grab uh, grab that and uh, stay uh, straight on. So uh, they're actually attached by this little belt here, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna take him off for a second. So they're attached by this uh, belt right here uh, that has got two little pegs um, for gripping, unlike uh, most of the Star Wars and G.I. Joe belts that only have one. And uh, actually on the front of it, it's got a T, which uh, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, which probably stands for uh, turtles. And then uh, over here we've got uh, four little buckles, and uh, actually the these things are actually one spaced apart so uh you can't put both on unless it's uh unlike the third belt loop is uh pretty thin figures are the only ones that you can actually get two hooked up for for this and then uh on the actual top here we got some pretty cool detailing we have the little control stick here uh and it pivots uh 360 degrees I'm actually missing uh, the shield here and uh, the machine gun, as uh, you can see around the box back here. And uh, on this, it's got the little foot detailing, which uh, I think is, yeah, it's just about the same size of a, as a Ninja Turtle's foot. And uh, it's got two of them with some little patterns. And then on the inside here, of course, it's got the joystick control patterns and uh, some little foot rests. And then the actual seat itself is pretty cool. It's like a tongue or something. And uh, as you can see, it's got some little vein detailing and bumps. And uh, on it, it's actually uh, for the shoulder rests, or arm rests, you got two little mosquitoes, which is uh, kind of interesting, seeing as uh, he is a mosquito himself, but that's uh, one of the cool detailings. And uh, it's pretty cool, because this is actually uh, I'm not sure if you can see here, but it's attached to the engine, and those are all like set on top of him like a saddle. All right, let's start at the front. 
as you can see here. He's uh, he's uh got a little like flat top here and uh, crazy eyes. I love his uh teeth detailing. Uh, it's pretty cool. He's got some sharp teeth there and some drool. He's got his tongue sticking out, and of course, he's got his long little mosquito nose. And uh, it's actually his neck kind of uh, leads into a little backbone here. Uh, see, All right there, uh, that uh, goes up. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then uh, the next arm we have, or appendage, I should say, is uh, this arm right here. Uh, both this arm and the other front arm have two little uh, missiles on it, which uh, on the box it calls uh, air-to-air bee-seeking missiles, which is pretty cool. And it's a reference to how uh, his, uh, I guess, nemesis was a giant bee. And, uh, of course, he's got a great Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtle detailing in, like, the foot here, which... Uh, Actually, reminds me very much of a uh, this guy's foot, like a little chicken foot. There, that's pretty cool. He's got great detailing on the foot, and then a uh, little bandage here. Just all around great detailing with like holes and stuff. And then we got our first sticker, which is a uh, it's a little like I guess you could say army patch uh, sticker. And uh, this uh, leg actually has a 300. I mean like. It's kind of 360, but you can't do it all the way since uh, they can't go past uh, his arm right there. And uh, also, it can go past his le uh, head, but not much because uh, this little casing right here actually keeps it from going that far. So this has got like, mm, well, it's meant to be 360, but probably it's more like 180 degrees of rotation. Uh, the next arm, as you can see here, is... Uh, is actually an arm arm, or next appendage is an arm. And uh, this holds his gun, which I'll uh, take off here. And uh, his gun's got some pretty cool detailing. It's got like a little wrecking ball chain that you can, I guess, I don't know, plunge, shoot out of there with that. And then it's got an actual gun up here with a loop and feed here. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna set that right here for a second. Well, I show you his actual arm because this arm has a full uh, ball joint right here, 360 degrees of uh, rotation, and uh, it's really cool because uh, all the detailing, of course, is great. But this arm is really cool to have 360 because you can really put the gun anywhere, even though it's with the gun. It's kind of bulky and uh, hard to move around uh, the legs in a good position. I find that the best position is like that right there with it uh, bumping up against there with the uh, there uh, with the uh, like shoulder rest and uh, his actual shoulder right there with uh, the plunger shoulder rest. And then uh, that's pretty cool. The next little I guess appendage would be his wing right here which again full 360 degree uh, rotation on that ball joint, which is really cool because I guess you could have him like coming in for a landing, slowing down like this, or something of the sort. And of course, you got that, actually I should point this out quick, he's got two little watches right there on a, the time detailing, so you can tell the time. And of course he's got that little glove. And uh, the great thing about all the Ninja Turtles figures, again, like I've been bringing up, is their detailing, and I can't stretch this, uh, stress this enough. Because the detailing on this figure is just great. He's got this like kind of clear, uh, clear plastic wings, and uh, mine are actually bent a little. And I'm sure that you can unbend them. I just haven't gotten to that yet. But the detailing on them is great. With like the hole right here that you can uh, see, and uh, this little indent here, and just the, all the veins on the wings, and the, the little uh, kind of cutouts and eatouts. And then uh, you actually got your little uh, laser right there. So uh, actually, even though it's supposed to go like this, uh, because of the curve, I put it kind of backwards because it just looks better. All right, uh, the next little thing we got, or appendage, I'll put these up for uh, the actual showing off of the appendages, 
is this one. And it's got another one, uh, one of those 180 degree kind of rotations that the last one had. Or the first one had, sorry. And uh, it's got this little thing here. And it's got type O blood. Uh, probably a joke on the mosquito thing. And of course the great detailing and like the little chicken claws down there. And actually if you look up here, you got your first bit of the little metal detailing. And this little metal detailing actually shows up a lot right there. Uh, it shows up a lot with like, it looks like a little bit of metal that built into his mutation. Uh, the next little bit is the engine. And the engine, like I said before, it's actually attached to the seat. And uh, you can uh, hook a figure up right there uh, to this little hand grip right there. In a sec, let me hook this guy up. And uh, you can have him like hanging on while I go straight up or dangling on or something. So that's pretty cool. And uh, of course we got all the turtle shell detailing like that right there in the top little actual engine bit. And as you can see there's like some intake uh, detailing. And then we got the engine base and uh, the actual smokestacks are pretty cool. Because uh, they've got, like I said, great detailing and uh, they can actually pop off. As you can see they're, they're connected by this one big thing in this little hole. And uh, they can pop off, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I would not recommend doing it because it's a pain to get them back on. Uh, the one, this guy, I was putting together yesterday before this video. Uh, cause a few of his pieces were like off and about, and uh, this one actually took me a, quite a while to put back in, just cause of that pop on bit, and it's a little hard to do. All right, the next thing we got here is uh, uh, I guess you could call it his abdomen, and uh, got a little again one of those metal sticker details, and uh, again great detailing with the uh, veins and uh, the I guess you could say like. I don't know, uh, terrace, not, or tourist, whatever, uh, so it gets thinner and thinner. And then on the back here, we've actually got, like, a little grippy thing, uh, which you could use to, uh, grab a figure. Ah! Uh, although I don't believe that's its, uh, original intention. And, uh, it actually has got a little, uh, 360 degree movement here. So you can spin it all the way around. And, uh, great detailing here with, like, the little connection bit, uh, with the dots there. And then the actual detailing, like, up here and down here for the muzzle. Which is really cool. And, uh, mine's actually bent here. And I'd be careful because, uh, this piece of plastic here is, uh, kind of fragile and, uh, bendy. And, I uh, I wouldn't bend it too much or it could snap off. And, uh, I'm not sure if you can, uh, put one of the, a new one of those back on. And then on this side, we've got another, of course, another wing and uh, another back leg. This one actually has some of those bandage detailing. And uh, just thought I'd show you, I love this, guys. The kneecaps on this thing. Or, yeah, that would be a kneecap. And then we got another uh, little metal stickering right there. And uh, this arm actually says Bug Bomb on it. And it's got like a little picture of a mosquito lying down. And then this one, uh, which is another one of those, like, military stickers, is the same as the one on, uh, this side. Um, so, yeah. And then this, right here, this arm, this one actually has a thumbs up instead of being able to grip something. And again, the full ball joint instead of the 360 is super nice, because you have him having it down there, or having it straight up, or looking for a ride or something. So it's uh, pretty cool. And then again, another one of those air-to-air uh, 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 -air bee-seeking missiles here. And the detailing on those is actually quite cool. Uh, so yeah, that's what it's like. And the best arrangement I actually like for him uh, is I like to have the thumbs up, down under, and then the gun, of course, like I showed you, pressed up against there. And then uh, just set him uh, up. And then, of course, uh, his legs are a little flimsy, actually, uh, which should be noted, um, because they're either really tight, like this one back here is uh, really tight for me, and uh, it's hard to move, while this one right here is really easy to move and might cause him to fall over. 
So he's either got really tight or really loose ones I found, and uh, not really too much in between. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is actually how to uh, put a Ninja Turtle on it. So what you want to do is you want to, of course, spin the legs like this. And actually, you probably only have to spin one of them because uh, all the Ninja Turtles have like one foot that's actually not straight and one that is straight. So if you just want the straight one on, you could probably only spin one and then uh, get Mikey because this is the only arm that goes in enough to actually be able to sit in there without looking completely dumb. So actually on here, um, there's these little, these mesquite things. Actually, once you get them down there, hold them uh, a fair bit down there and are pretty tight. And then uh, after you get them down there, you wanna plug his hand in to the controls and I'll line that foot up. You can put this arm up because this arm will not reach it because it's got the same pivot as all the other turtles arms and then uh you just strap the belt through and uh and uh you uh one sec you just uh get this uh attached on uh again all the belts uh back then are kind of hard to get to without like lifting it up and actually doing it uh back there because for a close up. So it's quite actually hard to snap him in there with that without with, with doing it uh, in front of the camera. But it is quite a good fit and uh, easy fit. And once you got that, it looks uh, uh, really good. He's got his like, hand like that and he's like, fight, uh, we'll go. Um, in that kind of pose. So uh, it's a really cool figure. And then, uh, uh, next thing I want to show you, keeps falling over because there's this leg right here, is actually, uh, the box here. So, uh, on the box here, here's the front, one sec. Uh, so here's the box. Again, all the Ninja Turtle boxes are, uh, really quite cool. And, uh, I love all the art on all of them. They're, uh, so cool. And I really wonder who did the art for them. But on this one, of course, you got the logo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know those, the blood-sucking military mutant mosquito, which I guess explains a uh, little buzz cut there. So maybe you got mutated with like a helicopter and a general or something, because there's no way that with normal mutagen, you got mutated to be that big, that of a mosquito. Like the freaking turtles came from turtles, which were much bigger from mosquitoes, and they're only like that tall compared to them. So, must have been something going on there with uh, that mutagen. And then uh, it's got here the Mega Mutants, which was uh, what I was talking about with the uh, uh, B and him. Uh, biggest and most bizarre mutants ever, Mega Mutants. And uh, I think it was really cool that they have that uh, uh, kind of rivalry thing, which is kind of the same thing with the Ninja Turtles. Whenever they'd release, like, if they released one with... Uh, like athletic gear, they do all of them with sports stuff or whatever. And then uh, of course we got the playmates down here, uh, and we got number five, uh, five thousand six hundred thirty-four, which is pretty cool. And then of course you got the bonus secret sewer map inside. I actually have a lot of those maps. I just uh, they're probably in the bo in a box in the garage somewhere. So I'll have to do a separate video on those. Uh, leave a like if you want to see something like that. And then, um, we have this little thing, part down here that says, Movable insect wings, six articulated arms and legs, two air-to-air -air bee seeking missiles, which again, the bee thing, and then Mega Machine Gun, which is talking about his gun, which is pretty cool. Actually, if you look here, uh, I got a Kmart price on here. The Kmart price is actually, uh, uh, $15.97. Which is like 16 bucks, which is actually a lot more than what a lot of the G.I. Joe stuff was. Like, look at this, we got a, the uh, Stinger box. Uh, and uh, on the top here, as you can see, the price is only 10 bucks compared to the Ninja Turtles box, where the price is a uh, whopping $16. So, actually quite an uh, expensive figure.
And then uh, when you go to the top here, and uh, actually all the sides look like this, as I'll show you in a second. Of course, you got the logo, and then him, the blood, the uh, needle nose, the blood sucking military mutant mosquito, and of course the same little detailing that was on this front part over there, and then just a more uh, close-up picture of the figure riding it. And actually, uh. As you can see on this, uh, there's a few different colors which I'll be able to touch on when we get to the back of the box. Um, again, all the sides of the box are uh, this uh, size. And the box is actually quite big. As you can see here, uh, it's a little bit wider than the actual uh, uh, sewer uh, playset. And uh, here's one of the walls, quite a bit taller too, like a few inches taller. Which is uh, pretty cool. Alright, so here we go. At the back of the back of the box. Sorry. <laughs> back of the box. Um, either way, we got the back of the box here. Um, and we got, of course, uh, this picture here. That shows uh, the figure. Um, uh, like, I guess the prototype. And kind of like what I was pointing out in one of my last videos. Uh, with the prototypes. Is that uh, they're often... Got some different uh, color variations. So here we go, we got the bug shield. Actually, sorry. So we got some details here that it points out, like the bug shield, the air radar, uh, or raid radar, uh, the Gusly uh, Gatlin gun, and then the wing blasters. So I guess those actually fire bullets. The anti-foot footrest. <laughs> the killer crew cut. So there, that's what's talking about, the crew cut. And then the blood sucking mosquito nose, detachable bee seeking missiles, detachable mega machine gun, articulated arms, legs and neck. And uh, like I said, his legs got, or I'm not sure if I said this, but his arm, uh, his head's got 360 degree movement. And then foot scra uh, scrape and claws, rotating tail gun, gunner, so it is a gun. And then deadly military uh, fighter decals, and uh, movable wings and plasma powered engine. So as you can see here, there's actually some coloring differences, and the I'll point out a few of the main ones. So we got right here, uh, it shows the footrests as being yellow. We're here on the actual toy, as you can uh, tell, the footrests are actually like a dark blue kind of thing. And then also uh, on the back uh, legs here, it shows the uh, back legs as being kind of a... Uh, darker green where on the toy they're really like a light neon green uh, kind of thing and then also a few uh, other details uh, that are on the other one that's different well this one has uh, the stack being the same color as it is in the toy uh, these side ones actually have uh, on sec, the stack being a uh, kind of grayish uh, and the arms being kind of orange, which again is different from here because the arms on the toy are uh, red and the smokestacks are uh, kind of orangish. orangish. So, some pretty di uh, differences on all, all these. And uh, also, probably a more minor difference is that right here, the watches are colored. Around the figure, the watches are not colored, they're just uh, kind of a molded detail. Alright, let's read this uh, bio over here. Uh, needle Nose, Mosquito or Jet Fighter? How about both? Straight out of Dimension X, he's the biggest, most bizarre mutant ever. Created by Krang, then bug napped and trained by Donatello, Needle Nose blasts into a dog fighting battles with the Foot Clan's psychotic, stinging killer bee. Known for his uh, nosedive attack technique, Needle Nose can be ridden pig uh, piggyback while swooping into battle. Hone on, on the target with his air raid air radar. Launch his bee-seeking missiles. Blast away with the Gatling gun. Grab the enemy with his articulated arms, or just bite the foot clan between the fingers, where it's really itches. He's Needle Nose, the Mega Mutant Mosquito, mosquito, and he's yours. So uh, I guess he comes from Dimension X and a uh, Krang, uh, the Krang actually made him. And uh, I like the choice of the words there with the bug napped him. Uh, and then under the bio actually, uh, I don't know, we'll close up on the bio, but under it, it's got 
uh, two more turtles can hang on the side. So hang them high in the sky, like I said with the side thing. And then have a mutant fun performing aerial dogfights with Neil Nose and Killer Bee battling in and out over the city. So like I said, there's like a little bee there, uh, which I have, who's pretty cool. Uh, and he fights with the uh, mosquito. And then, of course, there's a little thing down here that's like, collect them all, and it's got the bee, uh, the uh, psycho, psycho, which I have, and the sewer dragster. And then, uh, it's just got the three pizza points, the playmates, and uh, the stock number again. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, actually, I think this might be one of my favorite, I don't know if you could call it a vehicle, like I said earlier, but I'm gonna call it a vehicle. I think this would be one of my favorite uh, Ninja Turtle vehicles. Maybe behind the turtle copter, because the turtle copter, or the blimp. Because the turtle copter and the blimp are really cool. But this guy is really cool. And uh, uh, I really enjoy having him. Uh, and if, if you were to get him, recommendations would be definitely to check out how tight his legs are. Uh, and uh, also to uh, make sure to get uh, one of these belts that is not broken. Thanks for watching, and cowabunga!